Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Get right into it. I'm on my way to the shop, got about an hour drive. Check in with you guys when I get there. So I just got to the race shop. Uh, first, I got to do some podcast uh, interviews and a couple phone calls here at Team Dillon Management. This is the agency I work with. It just so happens to be right next door to the race shop, which is super convenient. So going to knock out a few of those things and then uh, we'll move on with the rest of our day. All right, so I'm just leaving TDM, uh, walking back over to the shop because it's super close. Um, but got a lot done so far today. Uh, it's just about lunchtime and I already got a couple fire suits, fire suit renderings mocked up in order, working on paint schemes for some of our sponsors, uh, helmet paint jobs and uh, new helmets that we're getting. Uh, there's quite a bit new new things in the works that I'm excited about. Uh, and then other than that, just at the shop, we're getting the cars ready, seats mounted, getting comfortable in there so that we're ready for Daytona when the season gets started, and a whole lot of other things. So uh, just pumped to get going. This is kind of crunch time before the season starts. Obviously, um, you know, getting all the equipment, the helmets, the fire suits, all your gear. Um, more importantly, getting cars built and ready for the racetrack. Um, you know, the seats mounted and all that kind of stuff. So there's definitely a lot going on that uh, has to be done before Daytona. The first half of the day always seems to be, uh, you know, interviews, podcasts, stuff like that. Um, and then talking with sponsors, potential partners and, and having calls with them and updating them about what's going on, what needs to be done. And then, you know, I go over to the race shop and get stuff done there with the team or uh, the guys in the car. Uh, so that we can uh, be done for the rest of the day and get on with uh, my training routine and then you know drive back home an hour and usually I'm, I'm always streaming in the evening or uh, editing videos and stuff like that so um, pretty productive day they go by fast because there's a lot to be done in a little amount of time so I've got our auto club car behind us that's the second race of the year the Daytona car is back there in the background getting finished up just sat in it made sure the seat the steering wheel the pedals and all that were good uh, but we'll be ready for uh, for the first two races of the year and then go from there. But uh, this car will be up next after we get the Daytona car done. Uh, but a lot of things in the work here at Our Motorsports. All right, well, time to go work out. It's probably noisy, but I always warm up on the assault bike, start my training session. Um, so usually get all my stuff done in the morning, second half of the day at the shop, end off with training here in the gym, and then uh, head home and get whatever I done need to get done in the evening. Usually it's just streaming or we have some league races and stuff like that. Um, and then there's usually one day a week I don't go to the shop and I do some of my calls or interviews, anything like that at home and then do all my video editing, um, marketing decks, stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, I'm here every day, all day, because I could do everything. I could train, get my marketing stuff done up at TDM and work with the guys at the shop on getting Anything that's done that needs to be done pre-race, then obviously as the season starts up, we'll have pre and post-race meetings and all that stuff. I'm bummed because I forgot my heart rate monitor today. And that's a great way to keep track of, obviously my heart rate itself, uh, my peak, how fast I can get it back down and managing it. Cause stuff like that's super important in racing and while you're in the race car. Uh, and then being able to practice that throughout your workout is critical. That's the difference between just working out and obviously training for something. All right, so it's the end of my workout and there's this rope hanging from one of the rafters and I've never climbed a rope before. So I really want to try it. I've been trying to make the end of my workouts, do a little burnout session and just have a little fun with it. So I'm going to try to climb this rope and see how it goes.
Okay, that was pretty tough, mainly because I'm exhausted and already pretty wore out from the workout, but I know I can get all the way to the top next time. I didn't have the confidence to get down gently though, so I didn't want to go all the way. Well, excellent workout today. Killed in the gym, feeling good, feeling tired, wore myself out, put it all out there, just like I'm gonna do on the racetrack this year. Let's get it. All right, so now I'm doing a little bit of stretching post-workout, some foam rolling, important recovery things. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much today's workout. So the two most important things after working out is head to the Procelerate refuel station, grab your supplements, and then use a dude shower because I got an hour ride home and I don't want to sit in my sweat the whole way until I get really bad acne, and this is how I prevent it. Dude wipes, baby, all day long. Up in the truck, on my way home, and uh, get cleaned up, get ready for Monday night racing tonight. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so I just got home a little while ago, uh, showered, got changed, cleaned up. Emily's cooking some bomb dinner. Uh, so we're gonna eat together and then I gotta get ready for Monday night racing. So I gotta hop on the Simpsons driving simulator, practice a little bit and then fire up the live stream and that'll pretty much wrap up the evening. So uh, I'm gonna get to eating and move on to that. So I actually have a league race almost every night during the week, which leads to me streaming just about every night during the week, which has been a lot of fun actually. Um, I've just worked into my schedule and really enjoyed it. It's been great to be back streaming regularly. And then I've actually been uh, uploading those races and broadcast to uh, YouTube. So my YouTube channel has had a lot more iRacing content. I'm actually trying to make more iRacing specific videos as well on there. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Got the Sim Seats rig up and running. About ready for Monday night racing. So I just finished Monday night racing. Had a really great race. Took the lead early on. Led... A lot of laps and then had the winning strategy, but a late race caution caused some chaos and ended up with a top 10, but had a lot of fun like usual. Be back next week with that. You guys will be able to watch the replay of that broadcast or from my uh, perspective, my POV from my Twitch stream on YouTube uh, later this week. I always upload the Sunday um, after each race so that you can rewatch that if you'd like. Um, but other than that, watch an episode of Emily and I's favorite show, Yellowstone. Uh, last one finished up. Uh, that season and now I'm just gonna go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. So got a lot of stuff done today uh, Same thing tomorrow. Just been plugging away getting ready for the season to start uh, And it'll probably get even busier once it does but I'm really looking forward to it and uh, the days seem to go by fast when You have this much to do, but nonetheless, thank you guys for watching I appreciate the support as always and I'll talk to you all later